if you are looking to invest in foreign markets or US market then this video I am going to discuss with you why it makes more sense to invest through mutual funds than buying the stocks on your own. I am going to discuss with you why you should be diversifying your, your portfolio outside India. Then I am going to tell you why you need to invest in foreign markets. Then I am going to dive into why it makes much more sense to invest through mutual funds than taking your own calls. And then the last I am going to tell you those insights which nobody is talking into the market. Hello everyone, I am Shobit. I am a Finbiz Growth Expert and founder of Finbiz Growth Club. We are an aspiring community of new age mutual fund distributors who are determined to change how India invests. So let's first address the first important aspect of investing in foreign markets as why and how it is going to help. So addressing the why, the first thing which comes to mind that it is going to help in, in diversification. It means we are going to invest in different boundaries which is going to help us in spreading our investments into various avenues which is having a better risk reward ratio. Now what that means? That means that if we are investing in say US market or European market or other Asian countries, it has been seen that the correlation of the performance of these foreign equities vis-a-vis -vis Indian market is low. So in that sense, it is going to insulate our portfolio from the volatility. If you look at the report which Bloomberg has published in 2018 they have seen that the weighted average correlation of India's currency stocks and bonds compared to your foreign economies is only 0.32%. Now this means what? This means that the correlation is very low. It means it is a good way to diversify our portfolio. Another important thing why you need to look into invest outside India because a lot of global brands where we will not be able to get exposure into Indian markets since they have been not or they are not listed in Indian markets. So a lot of innovative companies like Apple, Tesla, Google, so on and so forth are the companies where we have will not be able to participate if we are not going to invest in the broader or abroad markets. Lot of new innovative companies are coming which we have not heard of and those are also going to help us in investing and get the opportunity to benefit from their growth. So these are the various aspects which you need to be mindful of when we are taking a call why we need to invest in broader market. Other important thing which you need to keep in mind it is going to help us in better asset allocation. Now this means what we will be able to have multiple asset classes in our portfolio. So if you are investing in only in Indian market, you can have Indian equity exposure, you can have debt exposure, you can have gold exposure, you can have real estate exposure, but you will not have foreign assets exposure. And that is going to be playing a very good way to diversify our portfolio and reduce the volatility. Now here we need to understand that investing in foreign markets is not going to help us in creating additional alpha in our portfolio. Now what I mean by that, most of us think that if we are going to invest in say Google, Tesla, uh, Facebook and so on and so forth, it is going to help us in increasing the return of our portfolio to manifold. But that is not the case. The pure reason why we need to do a proper asset allocation so that we are able to reduce the volatility in the portfolio. And let me give you a simple cal calculation which is going to make much more sense to you. So if you look at I have created a calculation for you. If you are investing your 65% of the assets into Indian equities, 20% into Indian debt, 5% in gold and 10% in international equity then you can see if we are assuming a return of 12% in Indian equities, 8% in debt, 8% in gold and let's assume that the foreign in, uh, international investments are going to grow much faster than the Indian equities of say 15% then you can see in the at the portfolio level you can only be contributing through foreign assets is 13%. Now this means what? This means that if you are going to be over emphasizing putting your money into foreign assets, it is not going to help you. 
it is only available to help you in terms of reducing the volatility but it is not going to be the main driver of generating returns or alpha in your portfolio why i am showing you this i am showing you this purely because of the reason that i want you guys to understand that we are investing in foreign assets to diversify and minimize the volatility and not create the alpha in our portfolio so these are the various aspects which i want you guys to understand if you are taking a call to invest in foreign assets now other important thing to address is when you should be investing in foreign equities so don't plunge prematurely my idea is if you have sufficient exposure to indian asset classes then only you should be planning to invest in foreign assets so if you are a beginner you are not having enough asset build up then don't over diversify your portfolio because it is not going to help you in any way you need to be building your asset step by step one by one so first get hold of indian assets it may be indian equities indian debt indian gold indian real estate and then only you should be taking up plunge to invest in foreign markets because that is much more complex there are a lot of more variables to play in and those can only be taken care of when you have some maturity investing in indian market so just keep this thing in mind and my suggestion to you would be take a professional help in case you really want to explore investment in foreign assets and don't over diversify in a sense that don't take up more than 5 to 10 percent exposure in foreign markets because it is not going to help you in creating alpha or additional uh, uh, return and you are going to be exposed to much larger risk there so once you are clear when you are when you are going to invest now let's dive into the most important part of the puzzle as why you need to invest in foreign equities through a mutual fund route and not through a direct investment in equities why it make much more sense and for that i'm going to ask you a simple question if you are investing in indian equities how many companies are you researching on your own how many in depth analysis of indian companies you are doing more importantly how easy or difficult the informations of those companies are for you and if you are not sure on this uh, on the answers of these questions then my advice to you is take a professional approach when you are investing in any foreign market even if you are want to invest in us market where the fan companies are uh, on the highlight where people want to invest in but we need to understand investing in only these five companies is not going to help if you are want to invest in foreign equity market you need to have much more understanding and much more research into various other equities where you can have exposure of and if you are not able to do that homework on our own in indian markets how easy or difficult it would be to invest in foreign equities on our own so it may be look very fancy that we want to invest in or we want to take a part of microsoft or apple or google and so on and so forth but believe me these five companies are not going to build your foreign asset portfolio you need to do much more work so that you have a diversified foreign asset portfolio and because of this reason i want you guys to please look into a mutual fund route where you will have a professional team to guide you and help you in investing in various foreign equities and get you a professional approach to your foreign investment so that is a very important thing which you need to look into it other important thing which you need to look into it is if you are investing in foreign equities on your own you need to be compliance of lot of regulatory issues those all things you need to be very very mindful of that how much you can invest or when you can withdraw and what kind of taxation you need to play but if you are investing through indian mutual fund companies route then those are very very clear cut rules and you don't have to bother about other things the research the dynamics the uh, financials the various parameters on which the mutual fund companies are going to pick a stock and the way you are going to pick a stocks are totally different other important thing is you will be having a sufficient diversification if you are investing through a mutual fund route 
a mutual fund scheme which is investing in say US market or a European market even with 5000 rupees you can have exposure to 20 30 or 40 uh, 40 or 50 companies stock but if you have 5000 rupees or say let's say you have a 1 lakh rupees or a 5 lakh rupees you are not going to have a much larger portfolio or much larger securities or stocks in your portfolio of foreign uh, equities so mutual funds are going to give you a much more diversification without having higher commitment from you in terms of your financials so that's also make a lot of sense for you now other important thing is most of us if we are buying equities of foreign assets we are only limited to us market i have hardly seen anybody providing exposure to say european market or asian market whereas if you go through a mutual fund route you will be able to find exposure to european markets as well you will be able to invest in china market or asian markets as well so that is also one reason where if you really want to diversify your portfolio into foreign equities, it makes much more sense to go through a mutual fund route instead of going through a direct equity route because first the stock picking would be a hill task for you. Another, it requires much more financial commitment from your side to have a diversified portfolio. And last and most important thing, the cost efficiency which you are going to get through a mutual fund would be much, much higher than if you are investing uh, directly into the US equities. Now, what I would like you guys to understand is there are a lot of other costs besides the brokerage which you are going to pay. So whenever you are transferring money to the foreign broker where you are going to buy those uh, stocks, you need to pay some fee. To the Indian bank then whenever you are uh, converting the Indian currency into the dollar in case you are investing in say US market you need to pay conversion fee and there are a lot of additional fees which you need to be look into so if you look at the overall cost structure whenever you are investing in foreign markets on your own the cost for the amount which you are investing would be much much higher Whereas in mutual fund, the economies of scales comes into play, which means if they are buying in bulk, if they are trading in a big volume, they can negotiate the price, they can uh, the cost or, or the overall cost will come down to a large extent. So these are the reasons which I think you will be convinced enough to take a mutual fund route to invest in any foreign assets or foreign equity market than going for your own stock investing. I can see a lot of pundits asking for you to invest in US equity market which is going to give you a huge exposure to a lot of companies. But the answer which you need to ask is are you are investing in foreign equities or US equities only to invest in fan companies or you want to diversify your portfolio much beyond that. So those things you need to keep in mind. Now let's come to the last part of the puzzle which nobody is talking about. You need to be very, very particular about what kind of tax outgo which you are going to pay in case you are investing in foreign equities. The taxation is going to reduce the overall return for you. So the first thing which you need to understand in case you are buying foreign equities on your own, then the long term and short term capital gains comes to play with the holding period of two years. So if you are holding for more than two years any foreign equities, then you are going to be paying tax at the rate of 20% with indexation. And in case you are withdrawing before two years, then those incomes are going to be added in your, income, your uh, Indian income and then you need to pay tax according to your tax life. But if you are investing through a mutual fund route, then you will have uh, a couple of things to keep in mind. If you are investing through a in mutual fund route and if, if you, those investments are into foreign equities, then you are going to be paying tax as the in Indian equities if the STT is being paid by the mutual fund company. So if a mutual fund company is buying a stock directly of foreign uh, markets and if they are paying STTs, then you are equity taxation just like Indian equities which you need to pay, which is after one year, whatever gains you are making, till one lakh you don't have to pay any taxes and beyond one lakh you need to pay 10% tax. So your tax outgo and tax liability reduce to a large extent. 
Now, in case you are investing in a mutual fund scheme, which is just a feed of fund or a fund of fund, which is investing in any foreign fund, then all the fund of funds, the taxation is of debt. This means in case the kind of tax which you are paying on the debt investment which you are doing in India, same kind of tax you need to pay if in case you are investing in any scheme which is just a fund of fund for any foreign mutual fund scheme. So in that case, any gains which you are making, the long term capital gains are going to be qualified if you are holding those investments for more than three years and the tax which you need to pay is 20% with indexation. If you are withdrawing before uh, three years, then of course it is a short term capital gain and those you need to be adding in your uh, kitty. So that you need to uh, be keeping in mind. It makes much more sense that if you are buying any ETF which is catching to foreign uh, uh, market, then there whenever you are buying or selling, you are paying STTs and then the tax outgo or your tax liability reduces to a large extent because it is treated just like Indian equities. So this thing you need to keep in mind because taxations are going to drag down your returns. So if you want a professional approach, then you need to be keeping this thing in mind that how which route you need to be taking off. Now, if you are convinced enough that you are going to invest uh, into foreign markets through mutual fund, then let me give you some of the tips if you need to keep in mind when you are investing in mutual funds or you want to take exposure to foreign markets through mutual fund. I would suggest that the funds of fund approach which most of the mutual fund companies are offering, that should be the preference for you at last because there you are going to get the cost high and you are also be going to be having a higher tax uh, liabilities. Instead, if you're going for an ETF route there, the STDs would be paid and your tax outgo would be lower. But the important aspect you need to be understanding that in exchange traded funds, the volumes are low, the price discovery is a little difficult, whereas in funds of fund, the asset value you are able, able to redeem or buy the investments. So those all things you need to be very mindful of when you are taking an approach to invest in foreign markets through mutual fund. So I hope I have given you some good thought to look into, some food for thought which is going to be helping you and exploring investment in foreign markets through a professional approach of mutual funds. In case you like the content, I would love you guys to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so that whenever we have something new to offer, you guys will be the first one to know. Thank you very much for watching. I am going to see you next time. Please take care of yourself. Till then.